Prime Minister Moses Nagamudu and Attorney General Basil Williams today made it clear that President David Granger acted in accordance with Article 161.2 of the Constitution when he appointed retired Justice James Patterson as chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission. Stacey Carmichael has the details. The Attorney General during a televised program stated categorically that President David Granger did not act unilaterally when he appointed the GCOM chair. According to the senior counsel, the Constitution clearly states that if the president rejects the list submitted, he can appoint an individual who meets the criteria of a retired judge, is a judge, or can be a judge. The leader of the opposition was operating all the time on the basis that in his list, he should have someone there who should be chairman of GCOM. Unfortunately, that is not what the law is. Secondly, when making such a decision under Article 111, the President is empowered to do so with, by his own deliberate judgment. And under Article 182, it's very clear that the President is not personally liable for the acts that he performed in executing his functions. In other words, he has immunity. His arguments were supported by Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu, who noted that a democratic right of Guyanese cannot be compromised on the whims and fancies of opposition leader Bar Jagdeo. The list that was support, uh, uh, submitted by Dr. Jagan and, and Mr. Hoy, when they were respectively opposition leader, were invariably acceptable clean lists. But the ones Jagdeo submitted was like this film I saw by Robert Redfront, an indecent proposal. He had to get somebody in there that he had an interest in to become the chairperson. And that is, that is a dishonest approach. He noted further that Jagdeo failed to honor his constitutional duty of providing a list of six persons deemed not unacceptable. PM Nagamutu believes that Jagdeo should be the one to be hauled over the coals for making a mockery of the constitution. He believes the opposition leader contaminated the process and tried to take control by delaying the process which started since December 2016. For InfoHub, Stacey Carmichael.